Test, test. Is that good? Okay, these aren't labeled, right? The pins? Or are they? Pins are not. Okay. So, what I'm doing one for each when we get to that? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. And if you think you should have two people hand them, whatever. I just, I, last year I no, that'll put work. them on here, but it was... No, they were, cl they were, clips were coming thought, off. So that's that again, perfect. So. Perfect. All right. We're going to get started. Thank you all for being out here again. Similar to this morning, um, speakers, watch the program when it's your turn. Feel free to come up here. We have lots of chairs and make your way here so we could just kind of keep rolling. We're not going to do an introduction between each. As you come up to the stage, enter stage right, 
picture stage left, and we will start with Mr. Johnson. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Ortez. Good afternoon. As the athletic director of Morris Community High School, it is my privilege to recognize some of our outstanding student athletes. The first award that I'll be presenting today is the Three Sport Athlete Award. This award is proudly given to any student athlete that has exhibited dedication and commitment by participating and competing in three MCHS sports this school year. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will receive a certificate for their accomplishments, and each senior three sport athlete will receive a plaque. At this time, please come down to the front of the stage when your name is called. I'd ask that everybody please hold their applause until all names are read. First, for our freshmen, three sport athletes this year, I call your name. Again, come down to the front. Nazim Baftiri, Jaden Bertram, Brett Bounds, Hayden Hutchcraft, Danica Martin, Mackenzie Martin, Tristan Olvera, Colin Pfeiffer, Taylor Phillips, Tegan Putzel, Hayden Seaholm Kalman, Cornelius Shahir Jr., Peyton Valentine, and Jack Wheeler. Let's have a nice round of applause for our freshmen, three sport athletes. All right, at this time, we'll recognize our sophomore three-sport athletes. Again, when your name is called, please come down. Nathan Cox, A.J. Franzetti, Abby Haugus, Carter Lauterman, Gabby Lyons Calderon, Ella McDonnell, Gracie Nelson, Danielle Riley, Maggie Stubinger, Charlie Wright, and AJ Zwiers. I'm going to call the juniors at this time, if you could at least start making your way down to the track. Our junior three-sport athletes, we have Joy Dudley, Mariah Mayberry, Maddie Rushing, Caden Welch, and Levi Wilson. Let's have a nice round of applause for our junior three-sport athletes. Right here on the white line here, guys. I'd ask Jeremiah to come down and help with the. Uh... I can help if you need me, Jeff. Just let me know. All right, sophomores. Is this the sophomore group? Get in there, Zwiers. Go. Thank you, guys. Yep, juniors. Maddie, Morales. Picture, let's go. Come on, girls. 
now you just give those to the seniors. I'll take those. Craig, you want to grab those? Or? Sure. All right, at this time, I'd like to recognize our senior three-sport athletes. Again, each senior will receive a plaque. Again, when I call your name, please come up to the front stage. Alexa Edwards. Julian Gonzalez. Zachary Harold. Catherine Helcom. Miles Johnston. Alexis McCarroll. Ethan Morrissey. Maddie Noon. Lillian Ochoa. Adriana Placencia. Aiden Romack. Maddie Shannon. And Libby Wright. Let's have a nice round of applause for our senior three sport athletes. As Athletic Director of MCHS, it is my honor to present the J.S. Crabtree Sportsmanship Award and the William R. Ferguson Award to five dedicated senior student athletes. J.S. Crabtree was a former coach, teacher, and administrator at Morris Community High School. Coach Crabtree stressed the importance of academic achievement, extracurricular participation, and sportsmanship. At Morris Community High School, we uphold these standards and are proud to present the J.S. Crabtree Sportsmanship Awards each year to one male and one female basketball player as well as one football player. When I call your name, I'd ask you to please come up stage to receive your plaque. Our female basketball recipient for this year's J.S. Crabtree Sportsmanship Award is Maddie Shannon. Our male basketball recipient for this year's J.S. Crabtree Sportsmanship Award goes to Zach Romack. And our football recipient for this year's J.S. Crabtree Sportsmanship Award goes to Henry Hansen. The Outstanding Senior Athlete Award was first awarded in 1953. In 1971, the Outstanding Senior Athlete Award was changed to the William R. Ferguson Award in honor of former teacher, coach, and athletic director, William R. Ferguson. The William R. Ferguson Award is given each year to one male and one female senior athlete that exhibits athletic ability, leadership, loyalty, and sportsmanship throughout their high school sports career. The head coaches and MCHS nominate and vote for the recipients of this award. At this time, I'm going to introduce you the five female nominees as well as the five male nominees. When I call your name, I'd ask that you stand in front of the stage. Alexa Edwards, Catherine Halcom, Grace Lines, Maddie Noon, and Maddie Shannon. Your male nominees for this year, Julian Gonzalez, Henry Hansen, Miles Johnston, Aiden Romack, and Zach Romack. Henry, Henry. First, I'd like to introduce 
the female nominees. Alexa Edwards. Alexa has been a three-sport athlete all four years. She was a member of the POMS team all four years, and she also competed on the track team. This past season, Alexa was a team captain and earned all-conference honors. Alexa led her team to a first-ever IHSA POM state championship. During Alexa's career, the POMS team also earned two IHSA state runner-up finishes. Alexa plans on attending Grand Valley State University and will major in biochemistry. Alexa Edwards. Next, we have Katherine Helcom. Katherine excelled in volleyball and soccer all four years. She's a three-year varsity volleyball player and earned all-conference honors her senior year. Katherine was also named co-MVP. In soccer, she has started at goalie the past two, two years. She has earned all-conference honors and is considered the top goalie in the conference with seven shutouts this season. Katherine pl plans on attending Parkland College in the fall. Katherine Helcom. Next, we have Grace Lyons. Grace has been a four-year varsity starter in both tennis and softball. She was named captain for both teams. She has earned all-conference honors in tennis for three years. She was a sectional champion her junior year, and she is a three-time state uh, tennis qualifier. She is the only girl in MCHS history to qualify for state in both singles and doubles. Grace has also been a standout on the softball field. She earned all-conference honors and was named third-team All-State her freshman year. Grace plans on attending Samford University to major in nursing. Congratulations, Grace Lyons. <laughs> Maddie Noon. Maddie has been a three-sport athlete all four years at MCHS. She was a two-year varsity volleyball player and cross-country runner. Maddie was a two-time sectional qualifier and state qualifier this past fall in cross-country. She has been a three-year starter on the softball team and was named captain this year her senior year on softball team. Maddie will be continuing her softball career at Iowa Wesleyan University. Maddie Noon. <laughs> Next, we have Maddie Shannon. Maddie's been a three-sport athlete all four years at MCHS. In volleyball this past fall, she earned the Most Improved Player Award. She was a two-year starter in basketball and earned honorable mention all-conference honors her senior year. Maddie was a four-year varsity softball player and has been a starter the past three years. Maddie will continue her softball career at Central College in Iowa. Maddie Shannon. <laughs> Next are male nominees. First, we have Julian Gonzalez. Julian was a three-sport athlete his senior year. He was a three-year varsity cross-country runner, named captain his junior and senior years, and a two-time sectional qualifier. In wrestling, he was a four-year varsity starter, earned all-conference for three years, was team captain, and won the Coach's Award the past three years. Julian has also excelled in track all four years. Julian will be attending Bradley University in the fall to major in mechanical engineering. Julian Gonzalez. <laughs> Next, we have Henry Hansen. Henry has excelled in football and basketball all four years. He was a three-year starter as the kicker on the varsity football team, and he also played wide receiver. Henry was named IA Conference Honorable Mention in football, and he is ranked fourth all-time in IHSA history for most consecutive PATs made. In basketball, Henry was named Team MVP, and he also won the rebounding award. Henry will be attending Madison Technical College in the fall, where he'll major in business finance. Henry Hansen. Next, we have Miles Johnston. Miles has excelled in football, basketball, and track. He earned first team all conference honors in football his junior and senior seasons. He was also voted offensive MVP in football his senior year. Miles has been a three year starter on the basketball team, and he earned all conference honors his junior and senior years. He was also nominated to play in the Interstate 8 Conference All Star Basketball game this spring. Miles has also excelled in track, and he qualified for the Illinois Top Teams meet during the indoor track season. Miles plans to continue his football career at Western Illinois University. Miles Johnston. <coughs> Next, we have Aiden Romack. Aiden has been a three-sport athlete all four years at MCHS. He's been a two-year starter on the varsity football team at defensive back and wide receiver. He earned all-conference honors in football this past season and was voted the Offensive Skill Player of the Year. Aiden also has excelled in basketball and baseball.
He won the free throw award in basketball, and he's also a starter on the varsity baseball team. Aiden plans on attending JJC in the fall. Aiden Romack. <clears throat> and finally, we have Zach Romack. Zach has excelled in football and basketball all four years. As the starting quarterback, he earned all-conference honors his junior and senior years. His senior year, Zach was a team captain and voted team MVP. He also earned first-team All-State honors as well as academic All-State. Zach was a two-year varsity basketball player, and he won the Charge Award this past season. Zach will be continuing his football career at Bemidji State University in the fall. Zach Romack. And now your winners of this year's 2022 William R. Ferguson Award is Grace Lines. Your male winner, William R. Ferguson Award winner, goes to Miles Johnston. Again, let's have one more nice round of applause for our 10 senior nominees. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Gugrigity. Googerty, I'll get it out there. Um, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the English Department Student of the Year. So what makes a good English Student of the Year? Is it someone who has taken all the potential classes, including electives within the department? Is it the person who scored highest on the verbal portion of the SAT? Or the one with the broadest vocabulary? or the strongest grammarian among us. While each of these qualifications might help bring a student to the department's attention, what makes a candidate rise to the top is one who has a passion and enthusiasm for language, words, and their ability to communicate the mundane to the most elevated of ideas. Our choice this year here has passion, enthusiasm, and joy for communication in spades. A captain and leader on the speech team, a state qualifier in her original event three years in a row, she embraces her opportunity to spread her messages to broader audiences than her classmates here at MCHS. This candidate has found joy and passion in dramatic form on the stage, making us laugh as she played everything from a feisty old lady to an independent girl. Other times, this candidate has impressed us with her fierce determination to take on what appeared to be a losing position in court, or allowed us in to witness the heartbreak of loneliness in a character known only as Man in Chair. Yes, this year's recipient is Emma Knudsen. <laughs> A member of the AP classroom, Emma has listened carefully to others, considered what she has read, and shared through class discussions and writing. Her willingness to openly dive deep into the literature let others see her grapple with themes and characters, and her ability to challenge others to think again about conclusions they have drawn have made her a leader and role model in the classroom. Emma's overall joy, enthusiasm, and zest for learning will take her far, and Mizzou is happy to have her, and lucky as well. I am beyond proud to congratulate the English Department Student of the Year, Emma Knudsen.
Congratulations, Emma. Unfortunately, Mrs. Ortega cannot be with us here today, so she asked me to share her comments for the recipient of the Spanish Department Award. This year, the Spanish Department would like to honor a clever and responsible student whose abilities are in the top tier of our class. This student has achieved one of the three highest grades for every unit assessment this school year and has earned 19 perfect scores on our 24 vocabulary quizzes. Oftentimes, when I read his works, I think I'm reading that of a native speaker. This student is, deep, is a deep thinker, and while he may be quiet in class, he offers insightful comments when he speaks up. He surprises me with his work, and I know that his kindness, Spanish abilities, and overall intellect will help him as he pursues his career. I know that this student will be successful in all his future endeavors. This year, the Spanish Department Award goes to Michael Carlson. Good afternoon. My name is Alan Thorson. I'm the Physical Education, Health, and Driver's Education Department Chair. On behalf of our entire department, it is my pleasure to present this year's Physical Education Department Student of the Year to Matt Munsell. Good afternoon. The recipient of the Social Studies Student of the Year Award has excelled in the social sciences during his or her high school career, works to become a regional and global scholar, and rec <clears throat> recognizes being well-versed in history, geography, politics, sociology, psychology, and economics, can make one more competitive than one's peers, and give a person a leg up on a first date. The pursuit of knowledge to the influential mind is powerful. On behalf of the Social Science Department, I'm delighted to present the Department's Student of the Year Award to fellow history and culture enthusiast, Mr. Finn Edward Paulson. <laughs> Finn, you can sit there or stand. I'm going to say some nice things about you. Mr. Lanning described Finn <clears throat> as a unique student that has a distinct sense of the world around him. Mr. Werda noted that Finn was always engaged on whatever topic they were discussing. He could make connections not only to the historical events, but to the modern occurrences as well. Mr. Werda generally felt that Finn wanted to know more and understand not only the history of events, but the deeper thought and meaning that propelled us towards an event <clears throat> and what resulted from those historical events as well. He desires to understand the behaviors of a broader social order, both as individuals and as a society. It's kind of nice. This year's winner is more than a student who received an A in a tired old Western Civ class. He invests in content awareness, being able to describe the origins of why we say okay the significance of the Gadsden Purchase, the role of the Slug Brigade in World War I, and why TR is so awesome. He can actually name five First Amendment rights accurately. Can you? He represents the social science student as an agile thinker who is able to make connections and strive to learn more about the world around us. Finn is a cool cat. 
It's not a prerequisite for this award, but the way he can think critically about the human experience, his ability to measure the world. He doesn't get too high or too low. It makes me believe he's got a bright future, whether he becomes a politician, a social worker, census taker, or just a guy who be, decides to become a roadie for a band named Wilco. Above all, I expect Finn to be a good friend, a good family man, and a valuable citizen in his future. Congratulations, Finn. Good afternoon. I'm Barb Rath, and I'm a member of the business department here at Morris High School. Uh, when Mr. Windy and Mr. Virgil and I discussed our department award, this person's name rose to the top of our list immediately. All three of us have had the pleasure and privilege to teach her in our classes. She's taken digital literacy and consumer ed with Mr. Virgil, driver's ed with Mr. Windy, and accounting one with me. This was an easy choice for us, and we would like to honor this person with this certificate for several reasons. This person is diligent, conscientious, attentive, She's that student who goes the extra mile to comprehend material, to complete assigned tasks, to excel, and who loves learning for the sake of learning. To us, this person exemplifies the motto, create more and do better every day. She's that student who doesn't hesitate to dig into a project or to move from regular level accounting to honors level because her teacher thinks she should. Learning to her is rewarding and it's heartfelt. And to see that ending project in a class or that final simulation in accounting come to completion, having it be right, seems to her to be a good feeling, even fun, I think. That's why she's the student that we, as teachers, love to teach. It's my pleasure at this time to ask Olivia Moore to come forward. She's been chosen the 21-22 Student of the Year. As Olivia leaves Morris High School, she will be pursuing, this is my, ho my hope, a major in accounting. Yes. <laughs> At Auburn University in Alabama, where she will become a tiger in the fall. Olivia, you've been a delight to have in class. You're sincere, hardworking, and your character speaks volumes. Please always remember, good things come to those who pursue their goals and their dreams that they believe in. Do so eth ethically, morally, and with an integrity. You will be successful every time. We look forward to hearing great things about you in the future. Olivia. Hello, I am Mrs. Schneider. I am currently the Art and Ceramics teacher, um, and I will be presenting the Art Department Student of the Year Award. 
So this year was such a hard decision for me to choose to receive this award because I have so many talented seniors. Each of you are wonderful artists and individuals and I will miss you all so much next year. The student who has received the Department of the Year Award has rightfully earned the title. She has taken literally every single art and ceramics class offered at the high school, along with completing an AP portfolio outside of school. It has been wonderful to experience two years with this individual who has developed a personalized style by incorporating faces into nearly every project she has been given. This student is always asking questions about how she can improve, which usually end up being some of my favorite conversations of the day. She is constantly working on her skills and has sent me emails with the question of, okay, what looks off about this? Or what is wrong with this hand? Yvonne Rodriguez, I have loved every minute of you being my student. Thank you for constantly working on art and inspiring others to work hard as well. In the words of Nick Miller, um, they might be going on in your head right now. To quote him, I have never been an inspiration before. I really don't like this much responsibility. And my response is, despite that thought, you are an inspiration to others and to me. I can't wait to see where life takes you, and if you need any help, I'm always an email away. Now come on up here. On behalf of the Science Department, I would like to present the Science Student of the Year Award to Miss Mackenzie Zwiers. As a freshman in Earth and Environmental Science Honors, Mrs. Dow said, Mackenzie exhibited a high level of maturity. She was meticulous with everything she did, including test and lab preparation. Mrs. Dow always believed, even as a ninth grader, she could achieve a high level of academic and professional achievement. Ms. Mastretta said, for any teacher, having a student who is not only bright, but uses that gift every day, striving to learn more and improve daily, and who, not, who is not only kind, but chooses to use that gift in every interaction with teachers and classmates, and not only has grit, but chooses to use it in persevering to make not only herself better, but also the classroom and the school a better place. That student is a gift to us all. Mackenzie's Weirs is all that and much more. I'm grateful to have been gifted with having her as a student, even if only for a year in my biology class. Mrs. Zarley had the pleasure of getting to know Mackenzie in honors chemistry Mackenzie thrived in collaboration and problem solving with her lab partners. Mackenzie's kindness and enthusiasm were contagious and inspiring. Francis Bacon said, half of science is putting forth the right questions. Mackenzie asked thoughtful questions daily in AP physics and consistently demonstrates a determined work ethic while displaying an infectious smile. She also isn't afraid to laugh at herself. Although she didn't have her in class, Mrs. Engel said Mackenzie was an integral member of the Morris swim team as a diver. She excelled for the team and was an invaluable asset. The science department is extremely proud of Mackenzie and we all wish you the best of luck at the University of South Florida as you pursue a degree in nursing. Congratulations again to Mackenzie Zwiers. I'm Mrs. LaFond. I'm one of the FCS teachers. 
I'm here to announce our Student of the Year Award for Family and Consumer Science Department. First, I'd like to thank our FCCLA members for participating in the activities we held throughout the year. Although we had a slow transition back into the year and in our acti sorry, activities, we are thankful for those who participated and wish our senior members the best of luck as they graduate. Our department consists of myself and Ms. Maloney, who teach foods one through three, child development one and two, textiles and design one and two. The student we have selected for our award this year has taken the majority of our classes that we offer in our department. The student has been a joy to teach and to have in class. She has been Sorry, the first one to offer to help and to do something that is asked. And we truly appreciate her willingness to always lend a helping hand. In the child development classes, she was a natural leader and did a wonderful job interacting with our preschool students. She had many creative ideas for her lessons and always made sure the little ones had a fun time. She was also willing to come early to help set up every day and be the last one to leave to make sure everything was put away. For the foods classes, she takes on the leadership role once again and helps in her kitchen and the other kitchens as well. With having such large cooking classes and members being active in class, we really appreciate having someone to reach out and help those that need our assistance. We both know that she is doing this out of her kindness and her love to be able to help where she can. She has shown this trait throughout her involvement of FCCLA as well. She has cre created many posters, announcements, and anything else we've added. We are surely gonna miss this young lady as she is our go-to girl, and we truly appreciate everything she has done. So on behalf of the FCS department, we would like to recognize Hannah Sizemore as our Department of the Year Award. next to so good afternoon I'm mr. Tripp representing the math department uh, when departments are asked to pick a student to be recognized as their student of the year one name came to mind immediately like most years this year's selection is someone who has taken as much math as possible including AP statistics and AP calculus his math teachers at the high school have found him to always be willing to help to take pride in his work and to be very patient when working with others who, who do not understand the material. He stands out to me because if he does not fully understand a problem or a concept, he is certainly not afraid to ask questions or come in for extra help. He seems to enjoy learning and being challenged. He has great insight into problem solving and he persists until he figures the problems out, which are the keys to his success. I have been very fortunate to teach this student in two of my classes, to have worked with him during marching band season, and to have been a scholastic bowl and mathletes coach for this student. The math department truly believes that a strong foundation in mathematics can help you in your future, regardless of the field of study or career you decide to pursue. We wish this student the best of luck as he studies environmental science and maybe even statistics at Mizzou this fall. Congratulations to Samuel Listina.
Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Brown, and it's my pleasure to present this year's Music Department Student of the Year. Our recipient this year is a student who has been a part of the band and choral programs since their freshman year. Since the beginning of their tenure, they have taken on leadership roles in both programs, supporting and leading roles in the spring musical and madrigal dinners, and has maintained a kind, respectful, and professional demeanor throughout. They have demonstrated a self-awareness not common in others their own age when reflecting on their performance, both on stage and academically, and an honesty and modesty which has endeared them to students and teachers alike. To this student, I know I speak for myself and Miss Hicks when I say thank you for your dedication to high school music, to high musical achievement over the years. Thank you for your focus on respectful interactions and your love of music, both vocal and instrumental. Most importantly, thank you for being a positive, welcoming, and kind role model for up and coming students who will continue to build a warm and inviting community in your stead once you have graduated. This year's Music Department Student of the Year is Kenzie Puckett. Good afternoon again. I'm Mr. Tripp, and I'm here to talk about mathletes. Uh, the other mathlete coaches are Mrs. Edwards and Mrs. O'Malley. Uh, the mathlete team had another successful year. In December, we placed second at the Interstate 8 Conference Contest, which was hosted at MCHS. Our freshman teams brought home first place in all three events, and our junior exponentials and logarithms team placed first with all perfect scores. In March, the team placed second at the ICTM Regional Competition, the Freshman Algebra One team, the Junior Senior Eight Person team, and the Calculator teams all finished in first place. The individuals, Jamin Patel and Michael Carlson, placed first overall for their events. At the end of April, our regional first place winners competed in the virtual ICTM state competition where freshman Jamin Patel earned 15th place out of 140 in the Algebra One competition. Yeah. All of the coaches are especially grateful to our seniors who have remained dedicated to the team. Their commitment and leadership have been the keys to our team's success each year. Each year, the coaches select students from each grade for the Mathlete Coaches Awards. We base this selection not only on the student's performance, but also their dependability and commitment to the team. This year's recipients are freshman Jamin Patel, junior Priya Patel, and four seniors, Michael Carlson, Alexa Edwards, Samuel Estina, and Hannah McGee. You can come get those awards. Good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Shutter, and many of you may not know me, but I am the bilingual teacher for students learning English, and I am here to present the Illinois State Seal of Biliteracy.
This is a state recognition to award students who have attained a high level of proficiency in both English and in Spanish. Morris Community High School students now have the opportunity to attain this distinction as we join 119 other districts across the state in awarding the seal. Along with the numerous benefits of bilingualism, all Illinois public colleges and universities must accept the state seal of biliteracy as equivalent to two years of foreign language coursework and award course credit for the seal. I am very proud to award our first seal of biliteracy recipients, Nair Gato Lorenzo and Adriana Placencia. Hello everyone and good afternoon. My name is Miss Hicks. I'd like to say that as things been ha slowly returning to normal, the band has been at more and more events and I am so proud of all of the actors, competitors, artists, and champions in this stadium. As a director of bands, I feel lucky that the ensemble I direct supports such a great student body. And I hope you as a student body feel lucky to be supported by such a great band. It's a group full of good people that work hard every day to create music for this community and this school. If we could please give the band students in the stadium a round of applause, please. Okay, on to our awards. The Louis Armstrong Award was a tough decision this year. This jazz program has grown since I arrived here at MCHS. Each year, multiple students show a love for jazz, have excitement for the charts we pick, and step up their skill level to make these charts happen. This student has done all of that and more. He's been at rehearsals consistently, even when his best friends have conflicts. He always takes a chance at improvised solos, and it always sounds great. And soloing in jazz takes a huge amount of intelligence and confidence. Finally, these qualities have been consistent across the board in our program. He served as a section leader very well. He's shown up to every rehearsal knowing his part, and I probably should have given him more compliments rather than adjusting his volume level all the time. However, I swear his lung size is what makes his instrument louder. <laughs> Without further ado, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award goes to senior Samuel Listina. Sam will be moving on to study environmental science, as a fair amount of people have mentioned today. And while this program is so proud of you, we will also miss you so much. Give it up one more time for Sam. You're welcome. You can wait over there for me. Up next is the Marching Band Award. This year, it was pretty obvious to me who, would I, who I would choose. Not because there weren't other people deserving, but because this member of marching band is the most enthusiastic leader, professional role model, <laughs> consistent member, and phenomenal performer. She's been brass section leader for three years, initially stepping up as a sophomore and doing an impressive job. Her marching technique is always on point, along with her playing. In fact, it's worth mentioning that during the concert season, she auditioned and made it into ILMEA on her instrument. That's the equivalent of state in sports. <laughs> this marching season, she soloed on our competitive show. 
meaning she played by herself from memory at over 10 performances, meaning in front of thousands of people. Finally, she's a great advocate for our program at all times, even when she got to wear her marching band uniform on the homecoming court. Give it up for this year's marching band award winner, winner Caesar, senior Emma Knudsen. Emma will go on to study environmental science, as has been said a fair amount today, and this program will forever be better because of her presence in it. Let's hear it one more time for Emma. Seek away from me over there. Okay, I just have two more. Sorry, I'll try to be quick. Our next award is the John Philip Sousa Award, which is our quintessential program award. I think the recipient of this award has had the most growth and it's been incredible to witness. To begin with a story, the student sat in my office a year and a half ago and interviewed for a section leader. As he answered the questions, he seemed a little cautious and admitted to wondering if he could fill the shoes that the leaders wore before him. I told him I knew he'd be able to, and my students all know that I love it when I'm right. <laughs> Not only has his leadership been compassionate, professional, and relentless, but his growth as a player has been truly amazing. He now understands all rhythms and can explain them to anyone, and he's also known around the school as the man on the throne. The best part about him is that his passion for this art form never ends, and I have no doubt he will make plenty of money making music. The John Philip Sousa Award this year goes to senior Garrick Padoma. <laughs> Garrick plans to go to JJC with a long-term goal of being a session drummer. You can see him this Friday playing John Bonham at our Pops concert at six. Let's hear it one more time for Garrick. Finally, we've got a new award this year, the Music Industry Award. The past few years have brought exponentially more serious music appreciators and creators to my classroom. I still encourage anyone who likes music to put it on your schedule. This award will go to someone new each year who creates any aspect of commercial music good enough to actually make it in the industry, as they say. I'm lucky this year to have an incredible first recipient. Her voice is well known within the school and rightfully so. I heard her first original album last year during the pandemic. She actually sent me part of an idea as a voice memo and I don't think I'll ever forget that moment. Her original music intelligently draws from her inspirations, fits her voice perfectly and has its own voice. The lyrics are always simple and effective, although sometimes they're numbing, sometimes they're crushing, sometimes they're pleasant, and sometimes they're meaningful. Coupled with her melodies, they've given chills to everyone who hears her music. She plans on making her living as a performer and artist, and I know she'll do that and do it well. Her most recent song project is my personal favorite, and it is featured on our band Instagram story right now. So if you'd like to look up Morris underscore bands, you can see it there and then follow her. Okay, without further ado, the first ever music industry award winner at MCHS is senior Kenzie Puckett. The Arian Music Award was established in 1948 to give national recognition to junior and senior class members chosen by their schools for outstanding achievement in band, orchestra, or chorus. This year, it is my honor to present this award to two very dedicated students. During their time here at MCHS, our first recipient has thrown themselves into almost every available musical ensemble, they have held leading and supporting roles in the musical and madrigal dinners each year and led sectionals in choir and band as a section leader. 
They have also been accepted into the Illinois Music Educators District 1 Festival for both band and choir. Throughout four years of participation, Miss Hicks and I have never seen them in a bad mood. And their enthusiasm and optimism has infected the students around them in the most positive ways. This year's first recipient of the Aryan Music Award is Emma Knutsen. Our second recipient of the Aryan Music Award has participated in both band and choir throughout their high school career. They have been a part of Madrigals, Varsity Singers, the Musical Pit Orchestra, Competitive Marching Band, Symphonic Winds, Jazz Band, and helped create a barbershop quartet that performed the National Anthem at many sporting events throughout the years. They have held leadership roles in both band and choir and become a positive role model for younger students over the years. Our second recipient of the Aryan Music Award this year is Maxwell Duffy. Just one more. The National High School Choral Award this year goes to a student who has participated and excelled in every facet of the choral program. From freshman year in treble choir to senior year in honors choir and madrigals, she has always been a positive member of each ensemble she's a part of. Whether she is playing a role in the musical or leading her classmates in sectionals or full ensemble rehearsals, she has consistently demonstrated her dedication to excellent performance practice. I know that you will be a fantastic music educator and I'm proud to say that you are one of my students. It's my honor to present the National High School Choral Award to Evelyn Mateski. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrea Gustafson, and I'll be up here for a little bit because I'm going to talk about the three different organizations that I am so fortunate to get to be a part of here at MCHS. So I'm going to give awards today for our drama club, speech team, and National Honor Society. So I'll begin with drama club, because why not? So here we go. Uh, this year, our theater program at Morris featured two productions the night of January 16th, and The Drowsy Chaperone. As live theater began to make its way back, several of our students used their talents to perform with theaters around our area, as well as here at MCHS. Our most dedicated theater students at MCHS are inducted into the International Thespian Society, an honor society for students of theater. We currently have nine members in our chapter, and next week, we will induct an additional six. The International Thespian Society awards a Best Thespian Award to the thespian member who has accumulated the most points throughout the year. Each time a student performs in a production, works backstage, or even sees a production, they are earning thespian points. Our recipient of the Best Thespian Award this year is certainly no stranger to the stage. This student has been acting from a very young age on our stage and many others. I very vividly remember the first time I met this student a, a little over eight years ago when he auditioned for a play we were doing here at Morris High School, Peter Pan. He was this little tiny boy with big glasses, but an even bigger personality. I am happy that that was the beginning of his theater journey that has seen lots of time on the MCHS stage as well as stages in Joliet, Kankakee, Chicago, and many others. 
This year, he had the honor to be selected to perform in the Illinois All-State Theatrical Production, and I know he will continue to perform as he pursues his degree at Pomona College. His name will be added to our Best Thespian plaque that hangs in the hallway outside of our theater. Our 2021-22 Best Thespian is Nicholas Russell. All right, next I'm going to move on to our speech team. And I will be presenting three speech team awards today. I was lucky to be able to speak a lot about our speech team and the season we had back at our winter assembly. Every year I come up here and I, I feel like I don't know what to say to honor the team and the accomplishments that they do. Every year they surpass every expectation I could ever have for them. This year, MCHS speech was Illinois Conference champs, IHSA regional champs, IHSA sectional champs, and took 13 events to the IHSA state final and put four events into the final round, which, by the way, is a school record. Speech team certainly wins lots of shiny stuff, but if you know my team and you've talked with them, you've heard them talk about this activity, and they will tell you how it's so much more. It's leadership and fun and hard work and dedication and joy and some disappointments, but lots of spirit and an opportunity to make amazing relationships and friendships. I'm very proud to be the head coach of this team and proud to award our top three team awards. So on behalf of our team, along with my co-coaches, Andrea Barone, Chris Duffy, Tanya McKinney, and Haley Zorn, I'll present first our top novice award. Our top novice award goes to the first year competitor with the highest point total. We had a large group of novices this year and we saw them work so hard as they figured out just what this speech team thing is all about. Our recipient this year came in with energy and passion. And as I got to know her, I, I kind of felt like I knew the event for that person and I, I, I put them there and they did amazingly. But they also chose a second event which shocked me because it's an event that I can't get any of my team members to do. They came in excited, did it, and excelled. As a freshman, made it to regionals, sectionals, sectional finals, and just missed state by a couple of points. While many of my team members will say, I'm not doing that event, it's way too hard. This freshman attacked, improved with every meet and every practice, and has three more years to keep it going, which I'm very excited about. We are so proud to present our top novice award to Elise Knudsen. And I'm going to keep going while she makes her way down, so we'll give out plaques here in a moment. My second award is our best supporting team member, which goes to the team member with the second highest point total. This person I would refer to as a speech team rock star, if ever there was one. I'm not sure if my team always understands just how hard this person works because they work so much on their own so that when they are at school, when they're in our hallways, they can help others, especially our young team members. They are a cheerleader for everyone and a friend to all. This competitor has had a tremendous season. Regional team, sectional team, double entered at IHSA State. As far as a speech career, this senior will be a six-time IHSA state qualifier, a school record that will be very hard to top, and a two-time IHSA final qualifier, which also ties for a school record. She has so much personality and fun and wit and drive, and I am so pleased for the second year in a row to give the Best Supporting Team Member Award to Emma Knudsen. And my final speech team award is for our team champion. And I should say that best supporting team member and team champion were separated by one point. This student is so driven, so passionate, and exhibits so much maturity. 
This person thinks so much about every word, every phrase, every gesture, every beat, and works so hard to tell a compelling story. When I think of this person, I, I just think of talent for days and hard work that backs up that talent. It sounds repetitive probably after my presentation, but this person was also regional team member, sectional team member, five-time IHSA state qualifier, and a two-time IHSA state finalist, again, tied for the school record. It is an honor to present, also for the second year in a row, our MCHS speech team champion, the competitor earning the most points for the team this season, Kenzie Puckett. And finally, I'm going to talk about National Honor Society. And I've asked Dr. Ortez and Mr. Gorley to help me hand out some certificates and pins to our NHS senior members. So I will be calling you up if you would line up here in front, and then I get to talk about you. So here we go. If you would come forward, our NHS seniors this year. Lauren Bounds, Tessa Brummel, Jeffrey Bisdell, Alexa Edwards, Maria Gilbertson, Henry Hansen, Emma Knudsen, Samuel Lestina, Grace Lines, Hannah McGee, Olivia Moore, Madison Noon, Madeline Pilch, Nicholas Russell, Alyssa Schultz, Lauren Shear, Alyssa Terrell, Kayla Walker, and Mackenzie Zwiers. While they're handing out things, I'd like to step forward when I call your name. Our treasurer this year, Lauren Shear. Our secretary, Hannah McGee. Vice President Lauren Bounds and our NHS President Tessa Brummel. And the photographer wants you to scooch together. So scooch it up. Okay. The students you see before you are selected for membership in NHS during either their junior or senior year. They are selected through the work, time, and dedication of our NHS Faculty Council comprised of five educators in our building. I would like to take a moment to thank our council members. Our NHS council members this year are Mr. Joe LeBoomberg, Mr. Todd Kane, Mrs. Taylor LaFond, Mrs. Kim O'Malley, and Mr. Josh Williamson. Please join me in a round of applause for these faculty members. They not only serve on the NHS Council, but also serve as tremendous role models for all the students at MCHS. Students in NC and NHS are selected and their membership is governed by the four pillars of our chapter. Scholarship, leadership, service, and character. I'm very proud of this group of seniors who have upheld these pillars during what was not always a normal or traditional high school experience. They have excelled in academics. They have been leaders on the court, field, stage, classroom, and so much more. They have performed service for their school and community. Our NHS seniors before you represent 678 hours of service during this school year, including over 200 hours to our chapter service project, I Care International. Our hope for all of you is that you will use these pillars as a foundation as you move on from MCHS. We hope that you will continue to work hard, fight through challenges, lead responsibly and passionately, and remember the importance of strong character and the idea of simply giving back and serving. 
Congratulations to all of you, and let's have one more round of applause for our senior class National Honor Society. Congrats to all of you. That concludes our program, everybody. One, you are dismissed for the day. Thanks.